Coach, congratulations on a terrific victory. Uh, Columbus scored 72 goals during the regular season. Talk to us tonight about your tactical lineup to uh, prevent them from scoring and the execution of your team across 99 minutes of play. Thanks. Yeah. First of all, sorry that I'm I'm too late because I forgot the press conference. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it was uh, a tough game today, and uh, I would say that we defend very well most of the time. That we find a good switch uh, to be aggressive in our pressing to find the right moment, and this is the, the main part when we are looking to the difference uh, to the game uh, last week, to find the right moment for our pressing and not only to stay in a deep block. And then we had some moments where we defend uh, deep, but uh, all together, that's the key. When you play against uh, such a good team, especially in ball position, then it's the key that you have to do everything against the ball together. If you do this alone and uh, as a single player, then it's very difficult and uh, yeah, that was good. Today, but at the end, these are the rules. This is one step, and uh, we have to continue this and to prepare very serious, very serious now also for Sunday, the next game uh, in our in our stadium. Next, we'll go to Michael Batista. Coach uh, Carlos Coronel got his first clean sheet since I believe it was July sixth or July eighth against Philadelphia. To have him have this sort of performance mm. on this stage. Just talk about that. And uh, second question, uh, going off of Coach Nancy's comments from last game, do you think Red Bull played their style for more than 10 minutes tonight? No. I analyze only our performance. And uh, and what I can say, we did it very well most of the time today, especially in our defense behavior. And this was also our key. We wanted to play very dominant against the ball. And uh, when we play the same style in our ball position, they are better because they worked uh, for such a long time now, and uh, they had they have the confidence, especially with the ball, and also a lot of uh, very well players. But we our job was it to to play very dominant against the ball, and then uh, to answer your first question, and for for sure, then you need uh, some moments. Uh, our goalkeeper and uh, he had great saves, and it's good that we have this confidence uh, with a clean sheet, but. What I what I can say and what I have to repeat now it's a, it's a good step it's a good step to to create our moments that we are also able to win against Columbus but uh, at the end uh, we have to do this two times and now on Sunday is the next big opportunity for us. Next we to Gary Redman. Coach, congratulations! This was a huge result coming. Uh, everything was going against you, but this was just one game. Um, how do you tell your team to keep that? going into Sunday, knowing that you have a chance uh, to knock out the crew. Um, as, as far as anyone knows, they're a very tough team. Um, they're not going to panic. So how, uh, how do you prepare your squad for that game on Sunday? Yeah, yeah, yeah we analyze as well this, this game and they adapt, and especially in the second half, also some uh, some possessions in when, when they have the ball, and this is what we have to analyze, and also what, what what we can create for us, and uh, and it's not now only to say okay we have to play the same performance uh, today uh, on Sunday like today, so it, it it needs more, it needs more, and we have to prepare very serious and to think about okay maybe they change something in their position, then uh, we have to adapt something, but uh, first of all. It's good to see that we found today good moments for us, but on Sunday is 0-0 zero, zero the next game and uh, very serious and uh, to keep this level, to keep the energy, the intensity, that's the most important part against Columbus. But uh, yeah, we will see which structure we, we need then against them uh, because they are also very flexible, especially with the ball. Next, go to Daniel Rebain. How you doing, Coach? Obviously, amazing result. How do you kind of go into this week now, kind of being able to reset the the team's focus into Sunday and, and perform like this again uh, in Game Two? Yeah, this is this is our job. This is what we have to do, and we, we analyzed uh, our last game in the regular season against them. Uh, what we need, and uh, so this was today a good game, a good reaction. But now we have to prepare very serious. Tomorrow we have our recovery training, then we analyze the opponent as well for Sunday, and then we have to repeat it. But what I can say is, and I will say this on, on Saturday in our press conference, we need everyone in our stadium, everyone in our uh, to support 
the whole team because it's a big opportunity. It's a big game on Sunday, and uh, yeah, this is uh, first of all we have to prepare these days now. A good recovery, good video meeting, good video session. What we have to adapt in some moments, and then on Sunday is uh, kickoff, and uh, we need everyone in the stadium to create uh, this atmosphere, this special atmosphere which you need against Columbus. Next, we'll go to Charles Bell. Coach Charles Bell from MLSsoccer.com. Congrats on the result. I want to ask you about Carvalho, um, his performance tonight, and and how how you've seen him uh, arrive and settle in with the club, and and uh, what he's brought to the group. Yeah, it's a great experience, uh, um, and and we and he showed this uh, today on the on the pitch. Um, very intensive with Danny Edelman, both uh, six positions uh, to be very aggressive and also to find the right, right moment when we have to attack or when we have to stay in our block. And uh, on top, he scored. It's, it's a very good moment to, for the first goal now in the first playoff game. And uh, it's a very important player for us and uh, was good. Good in the combination with Danny Edelman today. Next, go to Daniel Forenstein. Andrew, congratulations on this amazing result. Talk about your back line, the, ne the Nealis brothers, mm. Reyes, uh, Tolkien, and you put Harper as a wing back, and then, of course, Ayla comes in to, as a substitute. I know it was late, that sub, but your back line was absolutely fantastic in this one. Yeah, you need, you need uh, this defense behavior and then also um, to be very... Aggressive in, in our forward defending and uh, especially when you are playing like uh, like we did it today, you need this and uh, it's not only the job then only to to, to stay and to, to stay in a low block and to secure the space and especially against their players in, in the half space and uh, you have to be very aggressive against them and, uh, and also then when you lose a duel then to secure and to help each other and uh, it was very well the performance of... Uh, of these guys in the center and also for our wing backs. And, uh, but what I said, you need everyone uh, in, uh, when you want to play very dominant against the ball, then, then you need everyone. It's not only then the job from our center backs, it's also then that you do this together when you start these moments or when you stay a little bit deeper, then you have to do it together. And uh, this was very good and yeah, and this is what we need. Next, go to James Burrow. Thanks, Andrew. Congrats on the result. Um, I, I want to ask about some of the attacking players today. Lewis Morgan and, and Dante Van Zer, neither of them get on the score sheet, but both of them play a big role in this one, especially Morgan late in the game, making yeah. deep runs uh, uh, against the Columbus back line. Yeah. Uh, I was exhausted just watching him. What, what would you make of, of their performance tonight? Yeah, yeah. Um, also, first of all, great job in, in the defense behavior, and uh, it's not so easy. Um, that you don't lose the confidence maybe when they solve sometimes the situation in their build-up, but they were very aggressive and also then to find the right moment when we stay a little bit deeper and that was great. And then you can always use your, uh, or we, we, couldn't, we could always use then also our transition moments and uh, I would say we can also score the, the second goal uh, in, in some good moments. We had also in the first half some good moments, but uh, was good, very good, very well, very important for us that they find also these three guys, uh, Emil, uh, Luis and Dante, that they found uh, very good moments in our in our structure against the ball. Everyone, we have time for two more questions with the coach. First, go to Voss, and then we'll finish up with Andres. Voss, you have the floor. Thank you for the time, coach. Uh, congratulations on a huge result. Just wanted to ask you, uh, not just on the ability of your team to stick to the principles and show uh, a lot of that Red Bulls ethos and have success in it, but also your team's ability to adjust throughout what Wilfred Nancy was trying to do throughout the game and the importance of that as well being added into uh, the team throughout those 99 minutes. And also as a second part, can you just maybe uh, talk about the message that you had to your team to have such a complete performance uh, at halftime and after the final whistle throughout just this entire 99 minutes? Yeah, in the halftime was uh, we have to we have to to do the same job with five percent more intensity, with five five percent more energy, and uh, and this is what I said uh, after the game directly. This is a good step, but it's only one step. It's not the big step or something like it's 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 a uh, it's a good step to to create our confidence that we are able to win against 
Columbus and uh, when we are talking about our principles, I think, and this is then also in, in my experience as a coach, it's, it's different than when you play a, a regular season. So for sure, the, the most of the time you have um, the focus of your principles, which you need for development the whole season, but in special moments in, in playoffs. For sure, you need your principles, but you have to adapt because uh, it's only the result. It's uh, then in playoffs uh, very important. Uh, so, and uh, this is it was good. That was a good development for us, for the whole team, for the whole club. That we are able also to win a playoff game. And we'll finish up with Andres. Hey, best coach. Uh, thank you, Zachary. Uh, quick question. Uh, do, you, do you speak with the players in the halftime in order to... Yeah, for sure. Big, no, correct. But it was a big fight in between back and forward. It was a very nice game. Also, Red Bull keeping the zero. That was big hard. Colombo is not getting up. Do you talk about it? Do you talk anything mm -hmm. about... Uh, are you going to change anything between the second half and the first half? Yeah, we changed also uh, positions, but... Uh, we play on Sunday. <laughs> we play on Sunday the next game. So for sure, we talked also about our tactical behavior. But uh, for us, was more important our defense structure to adapt something because uh, they change also something. Um, and this is what we uh, what we talked in in our halftime. Um, how we can handle some situations, uh, some positions against uh, against them. And uh, yeah, they adapt very quick, very well. These moments and so and uh, we had also our moments in our transitions and uh, I think we can we can score what I what I said we can score the second goal then could be a little bit easier than for us um, but at the end it's it's great to have a clean sheet against Columbus uh, but now it's over it's uh, the job is done and now main part main focus clear concentration for for Sunday.